dear. Dropped your cigar. Do you want me to help you look for it? Do you, you are a twisted woman. What are you doing in my bathroom? This was dropped off at my suite by mistake. Well, I certainly know what that's like. Every time I got near you, sweet, it was a mistake. That's because I never wanted you there to begin with. Hmm. It's limp. How appropriate. God, how did I ever marry such a shrew? Life goes so wrong. Oh. Oh, this must have cost a pretty penny. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with my little girl? Oh, I don't know yet, Rebecca. You're gonna have to let me examine her first. Oh. Uh, murderer! My daughter is in agony, and if she dies, it's all your fault. You know, Liz, not many people can bounce back from rough beginnings and accomplish what you have. It's very sweet of you to say, T.C. But you know, my hotel in the islands, it's very rustic, it's simple. Well, from the looks of the pictures, it's beautiful and it's charming, just like its owner. But you know what, Liz? I mean, maybe someday Eve and I can come down there and visit. But I know that you don't want to talk about this anymore, but you said that you are going to tell us who your sister is when, when Eve came back and... Yeah, I know. I, I, I said that. You know, I'm just racking my brain trying to figure it out. I don't know anyone in Harmony who's capable of running out on their own sister for drinking drugs and men. You know, maybe I, I shouldn't tell you her name. Come on, Liz. You can't take me this far and not give me her name. I mean, whoever it is, they deserve to be punished. T.C., it's so sweet that you care. You know what? I would do more than care. Because when it comes to payback time, I will help you get back at your sister. Your brother, Luis, is determined to tell Antonio that he and Sheridan are in love. Mama, don't worry, okay? God granted a miracle tonight when Ethan decided that he wanted to marry me instead of me. God will protect Antonio, no matter what happens. What's up? And don't tell me nothing, because that line's getting old. They tell Antonio the truth. The mother's threats are gonna come true. And I'll lose Luis forever. Luis, Sheridan, oh, stop! No, you can't! What? Who the places are you? Well, I'm Beth Wallace's mother. You know, we met. Oh, but you. You were the thing that wet all over my chairs. Oh, it was an accident, for heaven's sakes. I just didn't have my diapers on. That's just too much information. What the hell are you doing in my bathroom? Well, nature was calling, so I tried the first door. I suppose I should be grateful that you made it to a toilet this time. Oh. If you, if there's another one down the hall. Use that if you must. Oh, well, don't get so huffy, your lordship. Oh. 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 Out, I say! Oh, I'm trying, for heaven's sakes. Well, try harder. Oh, you know, maybe if, a, if you were a gentleman, you would help me here, huh? Oh, do you really want me to step out of my bath? Well, are you up for it? Oh, good. <laughs> Jesus. Never mind, honey. I'll do it on my own. Just give me a second here. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, that, that's my, 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 my good cigar lighter, you see? Ow. Oh. Look, I don't blame you for being upset, Rebecca, okay? Upset? My daughter is in agony, and it's all because of your lousy taste in women. I mean, how in God's name could you possibly choose that little slut Teresa over my beautiful daughter, Gwen? Okay, that's enough, all right? I'm not discussing Teresa with you now or ever. 
Oh, dear, Russell, really, I'm fine. It only hurt just for a minute. Eve, what's wrong with her? I don't know yet. There's nothing wrong, really. You are all making way too much of a little dizzy spell. That is not true, and you know it. Gwen, let me ask you something. Have you been more emotionally stressed out than usual? You know, I, I think I'm just dehydrated. Well, could that really cause such severe dizzy spells and pain? Well, I guess it could. You do have some of the symptoms of dehydration, but I won't really know until I run some tests. Oh, Dr. Russell, I really don't have time for that. I have a plane to catch. What do you mean? Where, where are you going? New York. Why? A business trip? No, Ethan, I'm leaving Harmony. Forever. What are you talking about, Beth? What is it that you don't want Luis and Sheridan to tell me? Yeah, what's going on? It seems like Luis and Sheridan were about to tell me something, but Beth has a problem with it. If it has something to do with me, I have a right to know. I'm tired of being kept in the dark about things. You, you drop that, I say. Drop it right now. Go get your knickers in a twist, honey. Oh, God, now I'm being ripped off by some crazy old harridan in a walker. Oh, what has happened to my life? It was bad enough when nobody would tell me how sick I was. Now, if anybody's got anything else to say to me, just... No, no, no. That's... that's not it at all. Ugh, I could just kick myself for speaking without thinking. Um, I said stop because I thought Sheridan was leaving, and I knew she'd been upstairs, and I just... I wanted to ask her if she'd seen my mother. But it seems that she's disappeared, and uh, I'm afraid she'll get lost in this huge house. Well, I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Everyone's in the living room with Antonio. What if they're telling him the truth? What's going on? Oh, uh, Beth was just wondering where her mother had gotten to. I didn't see her upstairs. She's probably just exploring the house. I'm sure she'll turn up. Antonio, get your kid sister bar you for just a minute. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. I thought you were telling Antonio about you and Sheridan. Well, I was going to. What about Eve? You... Antonio may need a doctor. Well, that's exactly why I didn't see anything, because I don't know where she went. So no wonder you jumped in to stop us. Oh, Louise, with or without Eve, I'm still not convinced that this is right to tell him. Look, no offense, Liz, but... I mean, you're the newcomer here, okay? You have no idea how much pain this has caused for everyone. Wait, wait, um, I have a question. How were you going to tell him? I mean, like, what words were you going to use? I'm just going to tell Antonio that Sheridan and I are in love. What if he doesn't understand? But I love you, you love me, we're going to get married. <laughs> How difficult is that to understand? But what if he doesn't understand that the two of you were involved before she ever met him, right? I mean, he might assume that um, you've fallen in love since, since he brought her back to Harmony. He'll feel so utterly betrayed, stabbed in the back by the woman he loves and his own brother. She's right. I mean, it'll seem like I've been cheating on him with you unless we can find some way to convince him that we were together before he entered the picture. I know what to do. Well, where are you going? Just try and find Eve, all right? And get this thing done with once and for all. Gwen, you, you can't go to New York tonight. You're sick. I'm sorry, but I've made up my mind. There's nothing to keep me here. I'm flying to New York tonight. I have been trying to talk her out of this for hours. Well, I agree with Ethan, Gwen. I don't think you should get on a plane in your condition. For the last time, whatever made me woozy is gone now. And I promise you, 
If I have a relapse in New York, I'll see a doctor there. Still don't like it. Wait, I have an idea. Eve, is there any way you can do the tests on Gwen here instead of at the hospital? Mother, please. No, hush. Look, if I hear that you're all right, then I'll stop fighting you about going to New York. But not until I hear those test results. As a matter of fact, I can call someone over at the hospital and ask them to bring me the main test. Okay. Um, Dr. Russell, would you and my mother uh, please give Ethan and I a few minutes alone? Oh, sure. I'll make the call from the hallway. Okay. I'll just be right outside the door. Not too close to the door this time, Mother. Selena, come. Yes? Yeah, Ethan, it's TC downstairs. Is my wife still up there? Uh, yeah, she's right here. Dr. Russell, it's, it's TC. What's up? Yes, sweetheart. Luis is about to tell Antonio the truth. And they want you to come down here just in case. I'm on my way. I, I just have a quick call to make first. Gwen, could you just take it easy until I come back? I'll, I'll make sure she doesn't exert herself. I am worried about you. Oh, Ethan, don't be silly. You know I never get really sick. Leave it to my mother to make high drama out of everything. Gwen, what is all of this about leaving Harmony and moving to New York? I landed a great job. I even have an apartment lined up on Central Park West. And the, the timing couldn't be better. Gwen, you were born here. You're your friends, your family. Everybody you love is here. It's not enough. Ethan, the, the person that I love doesn't want me anymore. And that's why I need to go. Ethan, I have to get out of here. This is no time to be playing with your hair. We are in the midst of a crisis. Oh, don't tell me. Julian drowned in his bubble bath. <sighs> this has nothing to do with Julian. Ethan, your son, is about to propose to Senorita Tacky. Rebecca, have you been nipping at the schnapps again? Please, Ethan is much smarter than that. Well, apparently not. I don't know, Teresa must have done some kind of voodoo on him or something to get him to want to marry her or not Gwen. No. No, 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 I will. Over my dead body, I, I will kill Teresa before I let Ethan marry that little gutter snipe. Oh, that nervy old bag. What? Are you talking to me? Oh, Bex, no. Of course not. I'm referring to the most atrocious woman I've ever laid eyes on. You have no idea what just happened to me. No, oh, tell me everything, Pookie. No, never mind. You don't want to hear the gory details. Suffice to say, Teresa has turned my home into a flop house. Every time I, I turn around, another piece of riffraff is invading my privacy. I've heard of the great unwashed to be, to be in such close proximity. I agree with you completely. And it is all Teresa's fault. And how on earth did she convince Ethan to choose her over my Gwen? What did you say? Ethan is proposing to Teresa tonight. <sighs> Julian, what am I going to do with this big mess? You say Ethan is proposing to Teresa tonight? Yes, he's on the verge. Well, doesn't he realize that she is still my lawfully wedded wife? Well, not for long, it would seem. Oh, no offense Pookie. But the only man that Teresa has ever wanted is Ethan. And she will do absolutely anything she can to sink her claws into them. Even if it means divorcing you, my burning hunk of love. What are you thinking, Pookie? It wasn't an easy decision, Gwen. Marriage proposal seldom are. Especially where you and I are concerned. Did you stop caring about me, Ethan? I didn't. It, it's not about it at all. Then how is it that you suddenly decided to ask Teresa to marry earlier tonight? You were going to propose to me. You're right. I, I was. No, you know, I don't. Don't tell me. I, I don't even want to know. 
the point is, you decided that you want to spend the rest of your life with Teresa and not me. And that's okay. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. The sad thing is, we've already been through this more than once. But like the song says, I will survive. And it'll be in New York. Far away from you and Teresa. Gwen. Gwen. Please just don't say anything else. If you need anything, anything at all. I'll know where to find you. easier. It's never going to be easier. Why, Teresa, not me? So how did he pop the big question? Well, he hasn't. I mean, not yet. Ethan is a decent man, and he wanted to break the news to Gwen first, you know, let her down as gently as possible. But when he's finished, he's going to come find me. I still can't believe it, you know. When I go to bed tonight, I'll be wearing Ethan's ring. Well, and what are you doing down here talking to me? You should be up in the room waiting on Romeo to come back, huh? I'll go upstairs and, you know, in a few minutes. Just get on out of here. Uh, you have plenty of chances to see me, and I don't want you to miss your big moment, okay? Uh, go on. Get out of here. I love you. He said he had to do something. I don't think he'll be long. This ought to make things clear to Antonio. I don't like that look in your eyes, Pookie. What are you thinking? I'm just about, uh, about what you said. What did I say? Well, only the obvious, that Teresa would do anything to make Ethan hers. I wonder if that includes giving up her right to the family fortune. Oh, I love when you talk money. Especially when it means Teresa doesn't get any. That way, when we're married, we can have it all to ourselves. Yes, right, my little sex kid. <laughs> I'll call my attorney. I'll have him draw up a document for Teresa to sign, Toot Sweet. She can have her divorce as long as she gives up any and all rights to the Crane fortune. I hope I'm not disturbing. No, no, Ethan, actually, I was just coming to find you. Good, because I have something to tell you. If it's about Teresa, please tell me you aren't thinking of asking her to marry you, that this is just some vicious rumor. I should have known Rebecca would come running straight to you. Well, thank God she did. How could you seriously consider this? Maybe this was a bad idea. I think I should leave before we say no, things... No, 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 you will go nowhere, young man, until you have heard me out. Now, you tell me you aren't seriously thinking of asking Teresa to marry you. Ethan, how can you even consider it after everything she's done to you? She is nothing but a lying, deceitful, manipulative... Mother, mother, I swear, if you call her one more name, I will walk right out that door. Now, look, I understand you're surprised. Uh, appalled is the word, Ethan. You belong with Gwen. A decent, loving girl who would gladly spend the rest of her life trying to make you happy, but what do you do? You throw her away for some barrio bimbo who just as you lie as breathe in and out? Mother? It's true. Look at everything Teresa has done to you. All she has ever done is hurt you with her lies and her schemes and her manipulations. Have you forgotten that you lost your birthright as a train because of Teresa? 
Or have you forgotten that her child is the spawn of Julian? <gasps> no, Ethan. I will not have this. I forbid you to marry Teresa. <laughs> you forbid it. I don't care how old you are, Ethan. I am still your mother. Now you are going to do as I tell you to do. I will not allow you to spend the rest of your life with a woman who will do nothing but make you miserable. Oh my God. What if she changes his mind? What if his love isn't strong enough to stand up for me? My mother can send my furs later on to New York. Come in. Excuse me, Miss Gwen. Dr. Russell asked me to bring this up when it arrived. Thank you, Alina. You can put it down right there. I don't need any medical tests. I need to get as far away from Harmony and Ethan and Teresa as I possibly can. Oh, damn it. An early pregnancy test. Why would Dr. Russell send this over? I, I can't be pregnant. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Touring the mansion. <laughs> well, what is eating you? You know, your face is gonna freeze in that scowl if you're not careful. <gasps> then we'll see if any man is gonna be taking another look in your direction, huh? I'm not interested in any man. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you better get over that because you're never gonna get Luis. <laughs> Wait a minute here. Did they already tell Antonio? Oh, did I miss the big bombshell here? Oh, no. Did he kill over dead? You know, when he got the news? God, stop licking your chops. I hate to disappoint you, Mother, but nothing happened. Yet, you mean. <laughs> Luis loves Sheridan too much to give up now. Aw, <laughs> oh, is that why you're so cranky? I'm not cranky, because it's not going to happen. I have a plan, okay? Luis is going to be mine no matter what goes down here tonight. You love my son very much, don't you? What? I can tell by the way your eyes soften when you look at him. It's true. I care for Brian. Antonio so much. I'm just so scared about how he will react when he hears about Luis and Sheridan. You know, that's why I'm praying to God and the Virgin Mother to help my son tonight make it through this horrible crisis. Just when you think you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders, you hear a story like Liz's and realize how lucky you've had it. So Liz's sister took off and left her in an abusive situation just to fend for herself? Yeah. This is the first time that I've ever even heard her say anything about it. I just don't know how one family member could do that to another. How one sibling could stab another sibling in the back. I know I could never do that to one of my brothers or sisters. I would rather die than have them suffer at my hand. Here we have it. Now all I have to do is track down Teresa and get her to sign it. How good are you? Want me to come with you? Oh, okay. No, the two of you tend to set each other off. I'll do much better on my own. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll wait right here for you. Mm -hmm. And then maybe when you come back, we can play one of our little games. Oh, what a good idea. <laughs> Methinks life is starting to look up for Julian, yes? <laughs> so what do you want to play? Do you want to be, oh, the construction worker or, oh, the bagpipe? Uh, why don't you surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once Pookie is free of Teresa, then we can get married, and then it's on with plan A. I will use my power as Mrs. Julian Crane to whip apart Ethan and Teresa. And Gwen can have them after all. Says first I have to get him to marry me. Oh, perfect. 
Once Julian pays the toll, he, his family name, and his fortune will be mine. <laughs> Forever. She talks Ethan out of proposing to me. Mother, you know how much I love and respect you. Then do as I tell you, Ethan. Dump Teresa once and for all. I, I'm sure it's not too late to go and apologize to Gwen for your lapse. I, I'm sure she'll forgive you. She, she loves you and she's a reasonable mother, woman. Mother, mother, I am not going to propose to Gwen when it's Teresa that I love. This is my life, mother. And I choose to spend it with Teresa. I just thank God I, I didn't let my own wounded pride throw it all away. But with or without your blessing, I plan for us to spend a wonderful life together. Yes, he is getting up to be old, Biddy. He must really love me. I don't think you understand, Ethan. I'm not begging. And I'm not pleading. I'm giving you an order. You march into her bedroom and you tell her that you have come to your senses. That you will not marry her. Not now. Not ever. I won't do that. Then you can say goodbye to me. The one person in your life who has never wanted anything but the best for you. If you go against my wishes on this, Ethan, I mean it. I will never see you again. Mother, stop being melodramatic. No, I mean every word of it, Ethan. I would rather lose you forever than see you waste your life on that... that Watch it, Mother. On someone who is not good enough for you. I would rather languish alone in this wheelchair. I would rather die of a broken heart then see you with someone who doesn't deserve you. I'm warning you, Ethan, stay on this path you've chosen. And I will never speak to you again. I will cut off all contact, I swear it. All my life, you have been my closest ally, my strongest support. Not anymore. Not if you choose Teresa. It is her, or me. It's that simple. <sighs> I want you in my life. I always have. But if you insist on giving me this ultimatum, so be it. I love Teresa, and I'm gonna marry her. If you don't wanna be around me because of that, Fine. I'll miss you. But I'm not going to be bullied out of what I know is right. Even if it means losing you. If Ethan can stand up to Ivy, then I know nothing will ever come between us again. Is, is it possible? Could I, could I be pregnant? Well, there's only one way to find out. Hi. There you are. Yeah. yeah. I was just telling Sheridan about Liz and her no good sister. It's just incredible what one family member could do to another. It's so terrible. I don't even want to think about it. Hmm. Mama looks pretty upset. I'm going to go over there and talk to her, okay? Yeah. Talk about twisting the knife. So does that mean you're not going to tell him? No. But I did bring something that might help him get through this. Uh, scrapbook of photos you gave me for our wedding. I had completely forgotten about that. Yeah. You know what the eerie thing is? Is that I got this after the boat explosion. I thought you were dead. It seems so long ago. Yeah. Uh, I got to thinking about what you and Bass said earlier, and it made a lot of sense. Sheridan, I think when Antonio sees this, he's going to see how far back our love goes with his own eyes. 
I'm just not sure anything can help at this point. Hey. So, I take it you're still intending to tell Antonio the truth. Well, yeah, just like we, like we planned. I mean, all his friends and family are here. Even his own doctor. Sure. Sure, he's gonna be okay. Trust me, he's gonna be fine. Looks like they're sharpening their knives, kiddo. Get your deck of cards out. It's time to play old maid. <laughs> I told you, Mother, I'm going to be with Luis. No matter what. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> well, would you look at those cold eyes? What are you up to, Missy? Getting Luis, of course. It's going to happen. Even if it means selling my soul to the devil. Why is everybody looking at me like that? It's time for you. Know the truth, Antonio. Like it or not, Mother, that's the way it is. I choose Teresa over Gwen. And if you make me, I'll choose her over you as well. I'm going to ask her to marry me tonight. Well, well, well. It isn't my lovely wife. What are you doing, uh, up and about? Oh, I was just on my way to get a bottle for little Ethan. Ah, oh, well, what a doting mummy. You will give the little lad a hug from his daddy when you get back to him, yes? You're being very agreeable tonight, Julian. You want something from me? Oh, you wound me to the quick. Can't a husband and wife exchange pleasantries of an evening? Not this husband with this wife. What are you up to, hmm? You're too smart for me. You always have been. Now, I was going to keep mum until the news came out, but congratulations. On what? Don't play coy with me. I have it on very good authority that Ethan is going to ask you to marry him this evening. And who told you that, Julian? Oh, what difference does that matter? As Lord of the Manor, I learn of everything sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Don't look so alarmed. I'm thrilled for you. Really? Oh, absolutely. There is one little stumbling block to your happily ever after scenario. I'm sure you've considered it. What are you talking about? Perhaps you're not as bright as I give you credit for. <laughs> uh, you are still married to me. Now, that could put a bit of a crimp in your wedding plans. Yeah, I knew it. You're going to fight me on a divorce. No, au contraire. Your happiness is my happiness. I, I want this to be as quick and painless as possible, which is why I took the liberty to have my attorney draw up a document that will pave the way for your wonderful life with Ethan. Oh, this is wonderful. No, Ethan and I can get married as, as soon as I thought. Yes, all you have to do is just sign this. I even have a pen. <laughs> all right. Where, where do I sign? That's right here, my dear. Mm -hmm. um. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Julian. Really? I actually mean this. Thank you. Oh. It's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. All my pleasure. <sighs> it's almost time. No. Wait, I must be reading this wrong. Oh, my God. No, there's... There's no mistake. I'm pregnant. With Ethan's baby. I would watch what I'd say, Missy. Because the devil has been known to show up and collect on bargains himself. Mark? My words. 
one way or another, Luis will be mine. What's in the book? Well, you'll see. Once you do, you'll understand. Wow, it must be some book that's got everybody so quiet. Let me see it. 